Hello, everybody. Welcome back to uh, All of Us Studios. We got Pierce back in the house tonight. Pierce, how you doing? Good, man. Awesome. Ready for some gamers mindset training. Exactly. Training ground, training ground. So we are going through, if you guys have been paying attention to our last two podcasts, uh, we've been talking a lot about how to rank up. If you're a new player, if you're a player that's been stuck in an ELO for a while, how are you going to actually focus on yourself and your skills and your responsibilities and what you can do to actually rank up your game and make it more fun for yourself and more fun for the other people around you? Um, because the more you know, the more that you're going to be better at shot calling, the more that you're clicking heads, the more that you're able to kind of control the game and focus down fire on people that are the biggest threats out there. And uh, and it just becomes... Uh, you want to be better team players. Fun, right? yeah. yeah, better team players, exactly. Yeah. So we're going to show you guys a little example of how um, you can take... Well, Pierce is a much better player than I am, and so he's going he's gonna to kind of guide me through and take a gold level player, which I am right now, who's kind of back and forth depending on uh, depending on what role I'm playing. Support and tank, I'm pretty much like a high silver and I'm solid gold in DPS. So we're gonna yeah. we're gonna hop in and do a few things here to uh, improve my game and uh, over this series that we're going to continue to sh continue to roll out for you guys. Hopefully we'll see uh, see me rank up utilizing these skills and utilizing these practice um, training grounds and stuff to then once we get into game, we stream Overwatch every Friday night. Um, so where should we start, Pierce? All right. Yeah, cool. Well, I'm also excited to improve my PS4 game because I'm Ooh. probably mechanically a silver yeah. level player across the board. So, He's not. Um, He's gold. He's gold. He's a gold level Probably player. gold mechanic, we play, maybe. We, we've been playing in gold, and you've that's, been holding your own. That's true. Sure. Okay. So we're going to go to the training ground. One of my favorite places in Overwatch. Okay, so we'll start right go here. To practice range. Run over to practice range real quick. Um, and we're going to start off by changing our settings to, right. uh, I think her name is Akiro. She's a GM player on PS4, and I was watching some videos by her. We're going to try and mirror what she has and then adjust it to us. Okay. So, and then does does her do, do these settings? Are we going to use this across the board? Or are we going to be specific to our McCree here? So first, we're going to start off across the board. Okay. Do and, a global change. Yes, and I think we need to find a baseline across the board. That's smart. And then, as you find player heroes you want to learn and play, you might make small incremental adjustments depending on the type of hero, because each hero plays a little bit differently from each other. Gotcha. So we'll fine tune from that point forward. Yeah, and that'll just be over you know the next month or two, and we'll Absolutely. always be adjusting our settings a little bit especially as you expand your hero pool yeah right and yeah, you're like absolutely. hey i think i'm gonna try so and so what's a hero you haven't played that much of uh doom fist doom fist so yeah, when when there comes that time when you're like you know what maybe i want to pick up mm -hmm. doom fist i think i'm starting to get to the yeah. level then we'll we'll find his sensitivities gotcha so. yeah currently i've i've been playing i would say the the most time that i have is on torbjorn um he's a projectile hero and then after that, I've played most of the other heroes, so I have a decent game sense for their kit and for kind of their positioning a little bit. Mm -hmm. It's obviously not perfect. We're going to work on that as well in future videos, work on positioning a lot more. Yep. Um, but I think that I have a, a general understanding of how to use each character, but... I haven't focused on practicing their aim at all, yeah. really. So, um, so this will be this will be great. Yeah. So where right. should we start here in in so settings? We're gonna start with horizontal and vertical sensitivity. Luckily, um, it's not much of adjustment. Uh, she's rocking forty seven, so let's try forty seven to start on, on both. Both. Yeah. Okay. And then we're gonna pop open. Oh, we have advanced popped open already. Yep, got it. So she's rocking aim assist at ninety. And then aim assist window size at 70. And so she went into uh, some detail about what the aim assist window size yeah, does. Yeah, enlighten me, please. Yeah, I didn't know what this does. But essentially what it does is it's this window around whatever you're aiming at that locks your aim in. But the larger it is, the more room for error there is. So you think like... If it's 100, that's yeah, good. it's going to pull me in it's more. It's going to pull you in more. But you don't. It actually will make your aim jerkier as you get closer to oh, the target you're aiming. So, so you might overshoot it. the further out you are, it's going to pull you. With more of a severe pull. Uh -huh. And this can cause you to overcompensate. I and I I know when I'm doing it, sometimes mm -hmm. I feel this also. And I'm like, oh, is this me just yeah. overshooting with my thumbs? And, and just kind of whip left. Yeah. Back. So this should uh, kind of zero it in a little bit more. Okay. 
And then here's the big thing. So aim smoothing mm -hmm. is at zero. Okay. Which yeah. you would think in your head first glance, just listening to just even the title of aim smoothing, you'd be like, uh, yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm not, I'm not an amazing player right now. I want to get up. Maybe at some point I'm smooth enough on my own thumbs to be able to just, you know, take it, glide it back and forth. But to start, help a brother out. Yeah. Well, <laughs> so apparently what aim smoothing actually does is it lags the game out a little bit when you're playing because it's smoothing all of the jerky motions out, which uh, actually slows down the frames. Uh -huh. And by they added this adjustment in after they had already released it for PS4 about a yeah. year later because players were like, hey, I can't flick or do any of these really cool shots that I'm seeing on PC. So they re released this uh, bar on aim smoothing. And um, so a lot of the pros really knock it down to zero mm -hmm. and they knock aim ease in yep. very similar to smooth in, but they put it down to around 30. Oh, wow. Okay, so, this is going to be a large adjustment for my game here. Yeah. I'm excited to see how this pans out. Yeah, I am too. And then the last thing we are looking at is go down, down, down. I think we... Okay, so aim technique, not dual zone. Not dual zone. Linear ramp. Linear ramp, okay. Yeah, and so the way linear ramp works, from my understanding, from after doing some research, is yeah. essentially when you move in a direction... Um, Linear ramp, what it'll allow you to do is when you move your thumb just a little bit, you turn a little bit. If you move your thumb more extremely to the right or left or up or down, uh -huh. it moves more extreme. And this allows you to have more control over your aim if you oh. want to make small adjustments versus large adjustments. Wow. Okay. Nice. So, yeah, a lot of things to the PlayStation 4 mm -hmm. aim system. It's really interesting. So, I'm excited to see what this is. And uh, that's... I think a good baseline for us to start. So okay. let's pop on McCree and see how this feels. Yeah, I'm going to throw one thing out here that I've seen. And um, you guys, make sure that you go down and turn on the allied health bar so you can see your teammates and see how much health they have. Because yes. this comes default turned off, I believe. It and does. so you actually have to go into the settings and turn it on. I mean, if you're playing support, this is a 100% must. I mean, it's a must for every character. You got to know where your team's at, but especially Very important for support. Especially for support. So make sure you guys go go turn that on. And, um, and then at one point, go down and check all of your settings and make sure you have things bound. Because as you can see here, I don't even have crouch bound yet so we'll go through and and we'll we'll hit that another time probably in our positioning video we'll talk more about movement there well you've and, got a toggle crouch right and, now and we can so set it that that'll be just fine that's fine yeah that okay. should be just fine all right, all right so now we're moving into the back to the training ground here and uh we got our mccree so what do we what do we want to do pierce all right let's uh why don't you go and click all these yeah, robots let heads me, let me let me move around yeah, move around first. a little bit see how this feels wow how does it feel okay it does feel significantly different. Okay. It feels, I mean, Do you after, feel like turn, you're after, more turn, after turning aim smoothing off, it feels smoother. Yeah. Like, it feels, like, effortless, like the game, I'm not fighting the game here, where before, you could always feel like it, you could feel that grabbing, like we were talking about yeah. before, and yeah, there's none of that now. I felt like I was playing against resistance when I was playing. It yeah. was like kind of like running in quick uh, in sand or something, you know, where you're like, whoa, uh -huh. why do I feel like I really have to thrust have to and then I'm overshooting? Yeah, definitely. I think what we should try and do is mm -hmm. just put the curse, go to the left like you were, mm -hmm. put the cursor on his head and just track him without shooting it and just follow him as he comes out. Don't move your left joystick, just okay. move your right joystick just and try to track right on his head. And just try to keep it with him all the whole way. Yep, there we go, that's better. So that's the kind of movement you want right there. Oh that's man, it's such, see, it's just such a fine-tuned movement where yeah. before, yeah, I didn't even think about it. That, see, oh, that's that better, yeah, so that's better. This is what you want. Track that head, So track that head. As you're playing, you're not that I want to necessarily sit here for 30 minutes to an hour every day and do this but mm -hmm. every time you're warming up maybe this is something that players can do for about five to ten minutes just to kind of get yourself used to oh, doing yeah. it yeah and then you move on to something new what brian's doing right now is he's in the head tracking range essentially what he's trying to do is keep at that same head level at all times mm -hmm. he's not really moving up and down only with the bot as it moves up and up this ramp right here but it's notice he's trying to keep right there at where the head is and the, the better you can maintain your head tracking, especially with a character like McCree, 
uh, the more damage you're gonna be able to do. Let's say I'm feeling pretty good here. I've spent about 10 minutes working on this. I'm getting a little bit better. Stage two, we're gonna get in the middle of those bots. We're gonna go up to, to right in the middle of these four bots. Mm -hmm. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna just do really close range, kind of moving left and right and looking left and right and trying to click one on the right and one on the left and just as you hit one, you move to the next target. I can tell. You can see already, it? I can see awesome. that your that makes aim is me getting feel better. Great. No, it do, it is getting better though. I like as you adjust to this, and this is gonna take time, of course, and practice. But yeah, look at already you're clicking heads like this. Our system so far is we we move from no left stick, no movement. Yep, we move just over simply here. to tracking. Then we just go stand still, get it, get in the middle of the boss. Don't even worry about the left stick so much. Just left, right on the right stick, trying to track each bot. Then we add body movement with the left stick while we're while we're looking left and right. And then yep. we try to add kit abilities into into the mix. Yep. And you want to get used get used to using your whole kit. We we want to use all the abilities we have, and we want to use all the movement abilities. So as we as we incorporate the abilities in, we're gonna practice just making it feel smooth and second nature the idea is if you see good players they don't they're not showing themselves see they're moving around the corner and we want to get to the point where we can do that too gotcha we're, so you're kind of peeking out take your shot cover, yeah. cover back up peek out take your shot yeah cover back up so we're using this cover oh, my aim is getting better already look at that that's, a, that's probably um even though we're trying to obviously get the kill where that probably helps because you could pop out, take a shot, pop back in. The person looks for you, and they don't even see where you're at. Well, you want to make your life on your – as a DPS especially, your job is to get healed as little as possible a lot of the times uh -huh. because they need to focus on the tanks and each other. They – um. You're going to be playing, if you're playing Widow or McCree or anything, you're really on your own in a lot of ways because you are you might be taking a different site path or a position. And so you need to learn to play the 1v1 duel. And by playing the duel, look, I can kind of hide from this bot and he's hiding from me around the corner too. And we want to use cover and we want to get used to moving around cover, okay. using your abilities around cover, sounds finishing like people off. And with that, it sounds like... Um Knowing knowing the mapping then and the health pack positioning, if you're playing a one-on-one -on -one dueling situation and trying yes. not to focus on um, on relying on the healers to to heal you so much, you need to know where those health packs are. So I think we can move to the next step because okay. we kind of have an idea of what we're supposed to do yep, here. Absolutely. We're going to go right, and then we're going to go left right up here this ramp. We're going to go all the way to the third floor on this training ground. You know my accuracy is pre Locked accuracy up, with turn around. Sorry about that. Go right around here. Okay, my accuracy with McCree is pretty insane uh, when I hit triangle. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm really good there. And his triangle is really easy at getting <laughs> McCree killed. Also, it's one of the hardest ults to pull off a lot of the times as you get higher up. The second you pop it, everyone shoots at you. But one of the cool things in Overwatch is when you're falling or jumping, you have control in the air. You're defying the laws of physics. Um, it's like you have a wingsuit on. Mm -hmm. You can actually move yourself in the air. And so that allows you to save yourself from getting booped sometimes. Um, but that's more advanced movement stuff. And this is this is gonna be probably the way I usually finish my training ground out if I'm okay. doing a full session. I like to just sit on this thing and move around like a merry-go-round. And I try to click that guy's head as I move around that side. And then I get ready. And this is, a, this is a good way of helping you prepare because you know where the bots are going to be after you've been here for a bit. So you try to pre-fire and get ready to pre-fire on these guys. So essentially that is okay. the progression that we would make with McCree. That's beautiful. And, and then uh -huh. what I like to do, if you do have extended time, is I like to start playing the characters I'm thinking I'm going to want to practice and play that day. But I think this is the basics. That's how we. That's a great place off. to start. So thank you guys so much. Uh, I'm going to be practicing these skills a lot. Pierce is going to be continuing to help us. That's going to be kind of chapter one of our of our training video. We're going to work from uh, try to get my GM up to a master's level player by utilizing these skills, and you'll see that over time in our stream and uh, with the help of Pierce. So thank you so much for being here, Pierce. Yeah, of course. Uh, I'll, I'll be time. practicing what you've uh, what you've enlightened me with, man. Thank you.
Appreciate yeah, I'll it, be buddy. practicing right there with you on PS4. Let's do it. <laughs> for all those Friday playthroughs. So. Yes, sir. Thank you guys for being here. All of us studios. Be well, Pioneers.